Hello friend, thank you so much for being here. My name is Lara G and I am so excited to share this little chant snack with you. What we'll do is take a little taste of helpful chants that we can use in our daily life to strengthen our connection to the power of sound and our own internal power. Chanting, why chanting? because this helps us dive deeper into the sacred mantras. Mantras are sacred utterances, passed down from thousands of years to help us evoke these qualities and these gods and deities that we wish to bestow on ourselves that we already have within. And snack, who doesn't love snacks? And we'll give little bite-sized pieces of these to help you dive just a little toes in the water to begin to understand the power of mantra, the power of sound, and the really amazing power that these deities that have been passed down have within us. So, so excited to be here with you for our very first one. Who knows if there'll be an episode? Who knows if there'll just be singular ones spread out? So a little snack platter throughout the months. Our purpose here is to explore, to learn more, and to understand our power within. So let's get started. Our very first one, no surprise, is Ganesh. Ganesh is the wonderful elephant god who is seen to remove obstacles. He is also seen as the most relatable of the gods or deities within the Hindu stories and, and texts from back thousands and thousands of years. He is also the son of Shiva and the remover of obstacles. And that's where we'll explore him a little more today. He helps us remove self-limiting beliefs and help us find freedom through that. Yes, he's a remover of obstacles, but most of the times these obstacles are removed not in the traditional ways that we would think, but he really listens to us. He really listens to what we need and allows us to find creative ways around our obstacles. So he is the power of intelligence, not the power of strength, but the power of the ability to see around the obstacle, the boulder, whatever is getting in our way and find creative ways, hopefully new ways for us to manifest and to grow. So that's what we'll explore today. And this chant will have two parts. The first part is very, very simple. It will also be in the guidelines below in the description. It starts with Om Hari Om. Om, if you're not familiar, is the cosmic sound. It's the sound of the universe. It's the waking sound. It wakes us up from the inside out. And Hari is from the word Hara, which is the force remover, the remover of obstacles, the force that takes away. So when we're waking up, we're, we're chanting to the cosmic universe, but also waking up the sound to remove what's within and what's stuck. The second part will be Sharanam Ganesha. Sharanam means refuge, protection. Ganesha is another sweet way to call on Ganesh. It's like he's our friend, how you would talk to your friend and that's how you're talking to Ganesh. So Ganesh, remover of obstacles and basically all put together, it's this evocation to remove these obstacles by calling on the cosmic vibration and asking for protection and wisdom from Ganesh. So. Hope you enjoy. Hope you learned something new. Oh, forgot. I have something to share. This is one of my favorite books for any, any chanting knowledge. Sacred Sounds by Alana Cavalia. And what she says about Ganesh is that he doesn't blast away the rock that blocks our path, but he shows us the way around the rock, how to tunnel underneath it, or how to see the rock as the destination our path was meant to lead to. Super power, empowering for me. Not sure if that's helpful for you, but hopefully a little nugget, a little snack to put in your back pocket or in your purse, wherever you like to hold your snacks for later. So we'll get started. I'll chant it a few times, move it through. Uh, if you're at home, maybe you can close your eyes. If you're listening on the subway or car, maybe don't close your eyes unless, you, <laughs> unless it calls to you. Um, the purpose of this is to listen, to feel, and then maybe one day share it with others as it's a gift that's meant to be passed down.
time. Breathe out. The most important space not to miss is the space between. The space from the, the voice, the music to the silence. That's where the wisdom lies. So I hope you enjoyed this little snack. Um, and I hope to see you all very soon. We'd love any and all feedback, what you want to learn, what you want to explore. And we're here for you and all together. Thank you so much, friends. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day.